Good morning, my lovely special boys. As you may have noticed, it is now that time of year again when I list my top 10 films of 1396. At number one is... Yes? What? Are you absolutely serious? Hmm. All right, all right. Attention citizens, we have very important breaking news at this hour. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency of magnificent proportions. I'll now turn you over to our live correspondent, Eddie Redmayne. How are things looking out there, Eddie? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Eddie Redmayne, coming at you live from the Ohio. That's Ohio. That's uh, just the state of Ohio. That's where I reside. And today I'm going to hit you with my top 10 favorite films pretty much of all time. So starting off strong at number four, uh, that would be the 2004 film Hulk, directed by Ang Lee. Listen, everybody saw it coming. I'm sure it's on your list at home. This film has everything. It's got breaking things. It's got strong people. It has Edward... Uh, does it have Edward Norton? Hey, does Hulk have Edward Norton in it? I'm trying to... It, God, she's always yelling at me. It's also got green people. Uh, hello, knock knock, Hollywood. Who is it? Representation. Put more green people in movies. All I'm saying, you're thinking it and I'm saying it, all right? Pretty much kicking off to my number five favorite film now. That would be the 2020 version of The Grudge, all right? You guys saw that one. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Now, listen, I thought that the series had honestly peaked uh, with the uh, Sadako versus... Ka versus Kayako version of the film, but honestly, this one was a pretty rad adaptation. I gotta say, it was a solid 7 out of 10. Mwah, that's a chef's kiss for me. So pretty much moving on to numbers 2 and 3. Um, pretty much, honestly, numbers 2 and 3 aren't really your business. Wow! So I really appreciate you asking. I'm not gonna share those. I'm gonna keep those close to the chest. And number one favorite film of all time. Can we get a drum roll here? Uh, of all time is Jeannie Dealman, of course everybody knew it. Jeannie Dealman, I'm sure it's your number one too. Got a place in the patient tribute to the classics, of course. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my list, guys. I'm sure it's exactly like the same ones that you guys have at home. Uh, but that's your boy Eddie Redmayne coming at you live from Ohio. Back to you, Adam. Wow, very nice indeed. Well, my friends, it would appear as if we have all been bamboozled. Crazy, right? <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I was just in the middle of telling you about my all-time favorite movie, Enter the Anime. Yes. This Netflix exclusive documentary is the most captivating piece of art I've ever witnessed, and it's sure to remain an all-time classic. Let's take a look. Okay. What is anime? This should be easy. Or not. What is creativity? How do people get ideas? Instagram isn't a waste of time. It's inspiration. Right? Right? Wow! So good! As you've probably guessed, my favorite technical aspect of this film will have to be the editing. Now, some of you may consider the editing in this film to be juvenile or ADHD. I disagree. You are nitpicking and biased. I win. <laughs> Another aspect of this film that I truly love is how many times it successfully ran Johnson's My Expectations. You see, at first, I thought I wanted to hear an expert talking about the history of anime but only after watching the masterpiece did I realize it was much better to have an attention-seeking crazy hippie babble on about nothing while she vacationed in Japan. Let's take a look. 
To understand anime, we have to dive into the intricacies of Japanese culture and the nuance of its way of life. How are we gonna do it? Food! Wowee! Zoe! Yo wee! So very good! Before watching this documentary, I was under the impression that anime existed outside of Netflix. Boy was I ever wrong! This brilliant and informative documentary taught me that the only animes that have ever existed were all Netflix exclusives. Crazy right? Doesn't that just blow your mind? I truly feel like I've learned everything I need to know about anime. I'll never sleep again. I hope you enjoyed my yearly list of my top 10 favorite documentaries of all time. Stay tuned for next year when I arise again from the grave. <laughs> Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. Arigato Goze Master!